Over the last three years, uh, you know, with the COVID situation, we've seen a large reduction of travelers into Hong Kong, uh, especially due to the strict policies that we've held in Hong Kong. We've, you know, hit a big uh, barrier with, you know, with no business, no travelers coming in, and it's been very hard to even have uh, enough staff to run the business as well sometimes. 咁誒，我哋最重要嘅其中一個旅客嘅客源就係內地嘅遊客啦。咁我哋希望可以喺加強人員互通誒之後嘅情況之下咧，係能夠將嗰個生意額同埋我哋嘅誒誒，即係營業嘅情況咧，有進一步嘅改善咯。Indeed, a Hong Kong F&B industry has undergone quite a bit of challenge in the past three years. Um, so I think if there is indeed a full reopening with mainland, uh, it's definitely something that is very positive for the uh, industry. So I think it's quite likely to see a rebound of 10% uh, year-over-year growth in 2023. Over the past three years, overseas entry restrictions on arrivals have deterred thousands of tourists from visiting Hong Kong, and many sectors of the economy have been hammered hard by this loss of inbound travelers. A reduction in visitors from the Chinese mainland has had the largest impact, and the food and beverage sector has especially borne the brunt of this. However, on January 8, 2023, the border between the Chinese mainland and Hong Kong finally resumed normal operations. Entry to the mainland no longer requires quarantine. You only need a negative PCR test. Traveling the other way has also resumed. In this episode of Hong Kong Inquirer, we'll look at how long it will take this city's F&B industry to get back where it was in 2019, and what can be done to speed up its recovery. According to the Census and the Statistics Department, the total revenue of the food services industry in 2020 decreased by around 20% from 2019. The official employment figure in food and beverage services dropped sharply from around 40,000 in 2019 to only 800 in 2022. The restaurant industry on Lama Island, one of Hong Kong's most popular holiday destinations, has been hit hard by the drop in tourists. 誒，我哋誒呢度地方咧，玉樹灣咧，主要咧都係做遊客生意嘅。咁啊，遊客冇嚟，咁啊，個生意額咧跌咧跌，我諗跌成跌成兩成至三成到嘅啫。誒，呢即係差不多有成三年時間㗎啦。咁啊，而家嚟計咧，就佢呢個誒誒政府嗰邊又開放啊，可以遊客入嚟啦，或者外國遊客再入嚟啦。希望呢個生意呢，就再上返、上返啲啦。我諗都要差唔多有半年至一年到啦，先可以恢復返以前。It is not only small restaurant businesses which have struggled. Much of the food and beverage industry has been hit by the pandemic. Eddie Wong, the CEO of a restaurant and bar group in Hong Kong, talks about the difficulties he faced sustaining his business during COVID and his hopes for 2023 with the resumed border. Actually, 2022年是一個相當困難的一年。因為2022年大家回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回想回
咁呢個業務咧就更加大嘅打擊。喺個防疫措施底下咧，係到五月底咧先至相繼係有放寬嘅措施嘅。咁即係話二零二二年度咧係有近半年。即係近一半嘅時間咧，係冇得營業其實、呃、管理層喺二零二三年咧，係個態度係正面同進取嘅。我哋喺二零二三年度都有相對擴充嗰個計劃。咁我哋希望喺二零二三年咧，係會大概會有四至五間嘅餐廳或者係、呃、酒吧，係能夠係再進佔香港嘅市場。咁依個都唔係淨係我哋集團嘅想法。我哋都睇到好多其他行家或者其他嘅餐飲集團咧，都有相類似嘅部署計劃。咁所以我哋都普遍都睇到我哋香港嘅營運者啦，或者商家啦，都係對未來嘅香港係仍然係好有信心嘅。Howard Bond is the general manager of an international F&B enterprise and vice chairman of the Hong Kong Federation of Restaurants and Related Trades. Howard says he saw a marked reduction in beverage supply for his clients during the pandemic. Actually, well,、uh, our business, other than just doing F&B, we supply a lot of coffee and tea to a lot of restaurants,、uh, hotels,、uh, clubs, and you know. We've seen that、uh, over the pandemic,、uh, there has been a large drop, and this is、uh, very normal to see maybe a 30, 40 percent drop in coffee and tea because the restaurants have also lost a lot of this business. In terms of retail, but、uh, we also have actually,、um, uh, you know, increased our business because. There's been, you know, more people eating at home, wanting to eat healthier, and because we are also in the health food retail business,、uh, this has、uh, helped us sustain our business over the pandemic. With the reopening of the border,、uh, the whole F&B industry really welcomes this. We want to see, you know, more people come to Hong Kong to fill, you know, all our restaurants.、Uh, lately, I think we've been seeing、um, more、uh, reservations because of the Chinese New Year,、uh, increasing maybe 30 to 40 percent above last year,、uh, especially in Chinese restaurants as well. And you know, that's really good news. And we hope, you know, this also continues after the Chinese New Year. Gary Ng is a senior economist for Asia Pacific Thematic Research at Natixis Corporate and Investment Bank. He thinks there will be a rebound in food services in 2023 with tourists returning to Hong Kong. However, it, the growth will not really come in a very a short term because in the short run we still see many challenges. For example, we don't really know when、uh, Hong Kong and the mainland will fully reopen to each other. So I think in the first quarter or、e、even in the uh, uh, second quarter of 2023, we are going to see some recovery, but the recovery will not be a V-shaped recovery. However, if we enter the second half of 2023, it's quite likely to see a stronger rebound of tourists coming. Back to Hong Kong, especially from the mainland, and I think this is really the timing that、uh, we will see a bigger boost or even a boom in the catering、uh, services after this,、um, like a very challenging times that、uh, they have、uh, undergone、um, in this、uh, past few years. So,、uh, speaking of what the government can do, I think、um, first, of course, it will need to maintain its、uh, status in uh, many. Uh, 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 basically, industry so that to attract people to come. And second, I think domestically it should continue to issue consumption voucher, which can at least buffer this、uh, short-term pressure because,、um, of course, there can be more tourists coming. So uh, any uh, government cash handout would be helpful in、uh, boosting this industry. And lastly, I still think that it would be very helpful for Hong Kong to actually hold more events to actually attract people to come. It could be a large tourism、uh, campaign. It could be a different financial or, or logistical conference, so that people can actually come here and Hong Kong can regain its、uh, role in terms of inter、uh, connection between different economies. And of course, all of this will mean that there will be synergies, and catering services would be one of those that would benefit because if people come, they need to. Eat. They need to drink. If I hold an event, then、um, uh, basically I need to hire someone to cater、uh, different purposes, and、uh, that will also have a spillover effect towards aviation, hospitality, etc. So I think、um, these are really the things that the government would need to address、uh, quite urgently. Chief Executive Zhong Li on February second, twenty twenty-three, 
launched a two billion Hong Kong dollars tourism campaign dubbed Hello Hong Kong. It includes giving away half a million air tickets to visitors and Hong Kong residents. He also announced that travelers from the Chinese mainland no longer need a PCR test to visit the city, and the lifting of the cap on the number of daily border crossings. This may signify the end of the pandemic after three years of struggling. With the resumption of the regular border crossings. Will Hong Kong restaurants be as crowded with tourists as they were before COVID-19? What do you think? Please drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more episodes of Hong Kong Inquirer.